Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and today I want to go over something that a good friend of mine got me as a gift, and it's something very important to my life, and I can't wait to build this thing up. But first things first, I finally gave in 100%, and we have a Patreon page. I'll put a link in the video description. There'll be some cool stuff on there that, to me, I I couldn't really. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I probably can do it on YouTube, but I would. This I like this platform where I don't feel like I'm being censored in certain ways, especially with copyright stuff like. I really, really want to do kind of a, in my, like, a, not a modern film review, like, type of video, but, like, a, I want to do a separate, like, you know, playing some, like, old video games, like, Kirby and shit, and I don't know, I just want to do stuff that it's not Vital Vinyl Vlog really related, but... You know, we still get to have fun, hang out, and listen to sick tunes, and to me that shit's, you know, important, it's fun, and it's like one of the main reasons I love this channel, because not only do I get to share what I think is fucking sick with you ladies and gentlemen, but, you know, just the fact that there's support on your end, it means the world to me, and I'm not just fucking saying that, as corny as it sounds, I really fucking mean it, and, like, especially, like, Pat Hopkins, man, fucking, like, one of the nicest dudes in the extreme metal underground, my friend Aaron, like, Dennis, there's so many rad fucking people out there, Robert, like, tons of sick guys, tons of sick bands, tons of sick distros, tons of sick labels, like, fucking Dylan at Head Split, Jason at Rotted Life, the list goes on and on, Eric at Life After Death, all sick fucking guys, Jesus at MSUO, Matt at Dark Descent, you know, I wouldn't be talking to you folks right now without those people and so, so many fucking more. Dominic, especially from the UK, big part of, you know, really, really delivering on crusty UK goods and, but... We'll go over some stuff real quick. First off, if you ever order order from Inferno, expect awesome packaging. Look at that fucking package. Awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, I just have some bonus stickers and uh, some parts I'm going to need for my Fiend Reynolds Volume 2 frame. From Empire BMX. Oh my god. I might go stickerless for once. But I really love that kind of Rick and Morty influenced top tube graphic. Head tube graphic, I mean. Uh, but I don't know. I do like the stickers on this. This is the first brand new bike I've bought. Well, I, I didn't pay for this, but this is the first brand new frame I've gotten since my last Fiend, my Timaro Volume 2 in 2015 was stolen. And this thing feels fucking amazing. The geometry is so on fucking point like I was looking it up and everything this is the type of bike that like it's 100% brakeless look at how clean that shit looks extra tire clearance 
Like, I, I really, really am so stoked to ride this thing. Right now, I am riding one of my favorite trail riders. Actual signature prototype frames. It's, it was his last model before they went into production with s and Bikes slash Credence. I'm talking about Matty Azaquap, the fucking man. He legit is the goat of trail riding. When it comes, I'm talking about riding dirt jumps, not like mountain bike trails. I'm talking like jumping in the air and stuff. If you ever visit Austin, Texas, try to make it to East Side Trails and You'll see Maddie in action, but look at this back end right here, especially the area where the seat post will go. You'll notice it's on an angle, and that right here is a hole where in that bag of little parts I showed you, which I need to put back in that bag, there are chain tensioners chain tensioners which are actually built into the frame if I decide I want to use them I don't know if I'm gonna be riding four pegs just because I don't know if I have four pegs right now I'm pretty sure I might have let my friend borrow my other two but these bolts here hold the seat post and seat on and I ride a classic um, railed seat, which it's becoming popular again, I've noticed. Most people ride what are called pivotal seats. But hails to Empire BMX, I am not a Latin king. This is one of those companies that I totally fucking support. Nothing but support for Empire BMX, honestly. I mean, I have their logo tattooed on me. Like, I obviously care for Tina and Tom and just the whole entire Empire BMX family. It means a lot to me whenever I get a package from them. Like, they threw in a t-shirt and stuff. Just the nicest fucking people. Like, here's the head tube sticker, the Rick and Morty influence. I like the pizza pentagram. I like that he's saying, fuck you. But the always fiending, I think that's cool. Because when you ride BMX, you really are. You're always fiending to go outside and to fucking shred and have fun on your bicycle. Regardless of how old you are. I don't care if you're 60. I don't give a fuck. If you can drop in, that means you can air a quarter pipe. Go fast, pull back, or die. But this right here, it's pretty much a street machine, but I normally ride trail bikes only on street, but lately I've been riding a trail frame only on trails, pretty much, which it has a super long back end. This is straight up 21 inches. The bicycle I am on now is 21.25, which is way too long but beggars can't be choosers but here this is absolutely perfect the shorter back end means it's going to be a lot easier to spin and yeah like just having a 21 inch top tube it, that's perfect for me I really like the welding the gussets everything this is not US made though but you know, it's not a $400 frame, so that's always good. And Garrett Reynolds is probably the gnarliest street rider in BMX history, maybe. And, you know, there's a lot of heavy hitters out there, and there still are, especially Garrett. Garrett is on top of the game, and now people are doing stuff he did back in 2013 and I think that's fucking awesome but they really did a good job on the Reynolds V2 
I like the bottom bracket a lot. Yeah, it's just very, I, I, I like the whole entire back end of the frame, honestly. Everything about it, it's fucking sick. And I know some of you are probably bored out of your minds right now, but like, to me, this is, you know, important stuff. This is the types of videos I would be making if I wasn't talking about music all the time. But this is something I really wanted to show off before I build it all up. Just to show you, like, you know, BMX, it's not just something that you do until you're 16, get a car, get a girlfriend, and then either become a jock, get into drugs, or you go the other route. And you normally want to go the other route, but I love bike riding so much. It's the same with like skateboarding. Like as much as I love watching skate videos, I can drop into a mini ramp and do a rock and roll and that's it. Like that's the, ex I can't even fucking do a kick flip. But like, I, I love like watching like old skate videos. And speaking of which, All right, here's the one sticker I might put on my bike. The Skeletal Remains sticker, just cause it's so badass. But um, I might be selling my original, only played once copy of PJ Ladd's Wonderful, Horrible Life on VHS, yo. Pretty much perfect condition. Seriously. So, yeah. Like, look, it's even in, like, a nice fucking... It still has, like, the wrap and stuff. So, yeah. One of the best skate videos ever. But I really wanted to show this off to you, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, although you might not care, to me, this is just as important as getting a new record. Honestly, like, it is. Bike riding is a big part of my life, and I hold it right up there with, um, music. And they kind of go hand in hand for me, honestly. Like, especially getting into bands from the Chicago punk scene. Like, Naked Reagan, Pegboy... Especially early Alkaline Trio, like, I remember, you know, having my first crush and falling on God Damn It and the Get Up Kids, something to write home about. Those records spoke volumes to me. Hot Water Music came into my life with No Division, Fuel for the Hate Game, tons of good shit. It was a different time period, like Small Brown Bike came out, um, I think it was Dead Reckoning was the record that was really... Planes Mistaken for Stars up in them guts though. Woo! They were gonna be signed to Relapse, there were big plans for Planes Mistaken for Stars, but after Mercy, um, they called it a day for a while, and then did Prey on um, Death Wish Records, I think. Yeah, but um, I love playing with Sacred for Stars. Like they're one of those bands I've always, always enjoyed. Same with, well, I fell in love with Exel immediately. As soon as I heard it, I was like, "Holy shit, this is fucking rad!" But this bad boy right here, Garrett Reynolds, Volume Two Frame by Fiend Bicycles. Purchased at Empire BMX mail order. The shop is located on. Um, I had the address on that sticker. I don't. I don't know it by heart. <laughs> I used to know it by heart. I, I don't anymore. When I used to live in Austin, uh, North, North Lamar Boulevard, six three zero zero, Austin, Texas. It's up north. If you go on. Uh, you, you know, whatever. <laughs> you go past the college and stuff, you, you can't miss it. But anyways, I'm in love with this thing. It was meant to be built today, but um, 
Everybody at the bike shop is at Woodward. I do not have a clamp because I want to build this properly. I don't want to fuck around. But uh, yeah, brand fucking new. 2021 Fiend Reynolds V2 frame. If you were thinking about buying one, get on it. Empire has them. I know right now it's hard to get your hands on bikes, but uh, yeah, if you're going the custom route, like I'm just replacing 98% of my old bike on here. Like my handlebars, stem, forks, front wheel, cranks, seat. I need to fix my back driver somehow, but yeah, that, that's it, because I don't have brakes. I don't have to worry about all that fucking, you know, dialing them in and everything. Like, I really, really, because I have brake mounts down here on my current bike, and I'm riding brakeless. So sometimes my shoelace will get stuck, like midair, and it's terrifying. And um, I have a pair of, like, pants that when I wear my knee brace, sometimes they flood a little bit. And also, yeah, it's like a fucking death trap. There's like these little metal things that stick up like right here where you would connect your brakes. And yeah, normally they go up here, but uh, Maddie kept it old school, kept it on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's almost killed me a couple times, but I really love Maddie's Black Magic frame by Credence slash s and but Garrett Reynolds, like I said, this is something I, I trust. I mean, I trust me. I trust the S&M trail frame on street. But uh, like I said, the back end, when I, when I spin, it, it's very hard because it's super long. Where this, like, I mean, I'm trying to get a 540 clip for you folks on Patreon or whatever. That would be sick, because I'm going to try and film a BMX edit for that website only. But, uh, I don't really know how it works, but sign up for it. All it is, is patreon.com uh, slash vital vinyl vlog. That's it. And, yeah. I would appreciate it. We can make more videos, and... You know, that's the whole plan is just to make more content for you folks. And to me, that seems like the best way to do it. I held it off for a long time and we're actually using my friend's cash app card and we're going to split the money. So he's going to be joining me on certain programs like um, we're going to start wa watching horror movies Um Probably like a couple times a month and live streaming the entire thing. You know, shit talking, having fun. Stuff kids do, even though we're not kids, we're grown ass fucking men. And I'm talking about riding, you know, a kid's bike. But to me, this is more than just a kid's bike. This might be like my last, you know, new bike. Because I'm not getting rid of the s and I want to keep it and build it up with brakes. And have, like, that old man bike, kind of. Like, when I'm a little bit older and more beat up. And I'm 36. I'm not a fucking spring chicken anymore. I'm not 19. When I eat shit, I eat shit. I'm laying on the ground, like, ugh, fuck my life. Like... I'm wearing a knee brace right now. I'm just fucking sitting here. Like, I'm not doing anything. But, you know, that's life. And I chose this path, and I'm happy. And that's something that right now I know not a lot of people can say. So I feel, for once in my life, like, I don't even know how to put it. There's a feeling that I've just never felt before, and it's satisfaction. I feel satisfied. I'm in a band I want to be in. 
I'm going to be riding a bike that, you know, I really want to fucking ride. I've been listening to music I've really been wanting to listen to. Like, yes, I do have this on vinyl, but I wanted to listen to the tape version. And I let my guitar player borrow it a while back. Well, not borrow it. I gave it to him. But I wanted to listen to it on tape, and he just let me borrow it because he's a nice fucking guy. And all your orders are going out with mixtapes. Don't worry. I mean, I made five mixtapes, I think think this time so if you got a t-shirt and it was placed during the time period when i said i was making the mixtapes you're gonna get one but this is the fiend reynolds volume 2 2021 frame fiend bicycles and purchased at empire bmx mail order Based out of North Austin, Texas. Hails to Tina and Tom. Owen, if for some reason you watch this, don't talk like me. I curse too much. But, this frame right here. Very good price. Like, you know, again, like, highly, highly recommend it. If you're a fan of just riding bicycles and whatnot. To me, the Reynolds V2, it's just one of those frames that, like, even though I haven't rode it yet, like, just by, you know, looking up the geometry, feeling how light it is and everything compared to what I'm riding now, oh, it's gonna be like night and day when I ride this fucking bad boy. I can't wait. And so stoked as well, $329.95. That might sound expensive to you. The bike I'm riding right now, the frame alone, is worth $409. Because it's made in the USA, lifetime warranty, all that stuff. Bike riding is very, very fucking expensive. And luckily, I have friends in the BMX industry and... You know, it's an awesome fucking industry. Everybody watches each other's back. And I think it's, you know, skateboarding feels very cutthroat. But it is what it is. But I'll tell you what also is cutthroat. Sanjuan Vigil by Finland's Galvanizer. I can't wait for more from these fucking sickos. I love hard tales of death so fucking much such a good ep on extremely rotten productions this is the head split american version silver it's badass um and yeah i just wanted to show you the fiend frame and just say thanks for watching join my patron and let's have some fucking fun thanks for watching as always Who's? Yeah.